Hey guys, so I have a really cute happy mail swap idea, um, and it's a DIY using the, the um, 3D um, greeting cards from Dollar Tree. Obviously, you can use any greeting card for this, but um, this is what I came up with. Um, so I have these Frankenstein cards, and this was for a swap I had hosted over on my Instagram page. It was like an, an ephemera swap. But um, this is how mine is going to come. So I kind of kept it around the Frankenstein monster traditional Halloween theme. So here's one of the greeting cards. And ta-da! So what I did is I, this, I used all scrap paper for this. So I used up like half my scrap paper to make all of them. And it was awesome. So, um, and I just sewed and made pockets. I measured everything. And then there's a pocket on the back as well. So as you can see here in the first pocket, I have my tags that were required and I have extra in there. My ephemera pieces and then these are extra die cut pieces I cut out. And then my required cut out pieces are in here. See, so you can see most of them are around the Frankenstein theme or are of Frankenstein. So those are in there. And then I added as an extra this little paper clip up here and it's a little Halloween sequin mix. And I stitched everything in neon orange. And then we had to have two bows. So I did, I have a glittery black bat bow and then I have the little black hat to go. And I have, you know, I try to coordinate things. And then what I did was I also, cause these are gonna go in a bigger Halloween envelope I have. Um, I used, I altered the envelope as well to put the additional pieces in. So I have a clip just holding it closed. Um, and I stitched everything here again, all scrap paper. And in here again, all scrap paper. So these are my put together embellishment, uh, da, ephemera pieces, like put together, um, like layered. So this one says Monster Mash and I did them double sided paper. Um, if the paper wasn't double-sided already, I just cut another piece of paper again, try to use up the scraps, and I stitched them. And then I put together the Bride of Frankenstein. And some of the papers vary. I did the tombstone, and I, you know, I handed the Frankenstein, and I added the white and the black pieces. These are all from my Cricut. And then there's Frankie and I, his little holographic... <laughs> um, bolts um and i just have the clip on there and then on the back is another pocket which gives you a bigger pocket than in here and then um i have my bag toppers which i have to still i forgot to add i just cut out my third bag topper which is this one which is from april orlander designs from her etsy sto um, etsy store um i will make sure i link her in the video um, but you had to do three bag toppers, so here they are, and they just slide in there. And then your two envelopes or pockets, so that's what I have here. And then they're all held on, uh, my pockets and envelopes are put together, um, held on with a paper clip. Um, most of the paper clips used, I either made or they were gifted to me because I have so many. I wanted to just make them fun and put them together and s such, so super fun. I try to make them um, kind of, the papers all kind of match up and coordinate. Um, with the scrap paper, so I'll go through and show you the sets. They're all the same, but I just want you to be able to see like the paper and how they look. But this is a really cute, great like Happy Mail like swap idea. So here's that one, and as I'm doing this, I can add my third bag topper. Um, and they're gonna go in these um, old. Um, not old, but there are these, um, I got them on s s the clothes out of sale from Conair. I think they're Conair. And they're black, like, snake skin, alligator skin envelopes that latch close, like envelope purses. And that's what my swaps are going to go in. Um, so this one I love. This one's, like, orange and green and black. So I try to coordinate everything to the you know, and match the bows up with the scrap paper. Isn't that cute? I think it's adorable. So as I'm here, I can, so I don't forget to put these in here and be short.
And there's this one. So, like I said, great way to use up your scraps. Great way to use these little, another way to use these dollar store cards that we all love and we just want to look at them and we don't know what to do with them. And well, here's a crafty way to use them. Oh, my paper clip came off. And put the bag topper. So, yeah, pretty cute. So this one's like mostly traditional like Halloween colors with a pop of purple. But I just wanted to show you how I used up my scraps and just a fun idea. You could do this for any holiday, any kind of thing. You can use any kind of greeting card. You can use vintage greeting cards. These would be cute for like flat mail. And then this one. This one has embossed bats. And then the last one, which is this one. Really fun. You can see some old paper in here from Kang Company. Lots of old paper. This is paper from when Target used to have its own, sell its own like little scrapbook kits, which was, oh my god, I don't know how, that was like 10 years ago, you guys. I feel old. <laughs> like that's how young I started doing this and I'm like, oh my god, I still have this stuff? Okay, I need to use it. So, yeah. And then look how cute. <laughs> little bat and then there's a witch hat here I try to like make them kind of go with the th whatever is like in the um, going on with everything else I try to make them kind of coordinate um, so I think I did pretty well you all have to let me know <laughs> um, so let me know what you guys think of this idea um, if you guys do do this idea please tag me on Instagram um, send it to me or um, if you make a YouTube video or do this, please uh, let me know that you did so I can watch it. Um, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye guys.